hi guys welcome back again to the channel in today's tutorial we are going to sew our jacket uh, we are still on this style we started with the drafting of the jacket then again we drafted the two-piece sleeve for the jacket so if you have not watched the video on how to draft the jacket the notch collar jacket i'll leave the link in the description box please go ahead and watch it to follow all right so today we are going to sew the jacket as well as the skirt the basic skirt you know the skirt will not take us time so we'll quickly cut the skirt and sew it before joining the jacket so please relax and um, pay attention watch the video to the end um, so you understand every part of it all right and uh, I believe after watching this tutorial you should be able to make your own jacket without any problem so guys with that being said let's get started so this is the material I will be needing for the skirt it's a very small material for you to make that style the jacket and the skirt you need like four yards of material so before i continue if you are new to the channel you are welcome i'm chisom ene please subscribe to join the family and remember to turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video all right here we have so many tutorials in the channel feel free to Click on any one of your choice and watch. All of them are detailed. After watching it, you should be able to make that particular style without any problem. So guys, we are going to continue now. I'm going to start with the cutting and sewing of the skirt quickly. Then after that, we'll join the jacket. So to cut the skirt, I've placed my material on fold. I folded it into two like so. I'll cut the front and use it to cut the back side. So, I folded it with my hip measurement. So, my hip measurement is 43 divided by 4 will give us 10.75. So, I have them here, I have 10.75, and I have like 1 inch allowance here. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to take the length of the skirt, I'm going to be attaching a band. So because of that, I'll be removing 1.5 inches to take the length of the skirt. So the length of the skirt I'm working with is going to be 25 inches. Feel free to make use of the length of your choice. So for me, 25 inches, which is here, and I'll be adding 2 inches for allowance, making it 27 inches. So from the waist, from the waist here to the hip line is going to be 8 inches. Remember, I removed the band to get 8 inches. If you are not making use of any band, then place your ruler here to take from waist to hip. That's the distance from your waist to the hip, which is 8 inches. It can be more. So feel free to measure from your waist down to your hip to know the distance. So it's between 8 inches to 9 inches or thereabout. So from my waist to my hip, eight inches then i mark so this is my hip line now so right now i'm going to insert my horizontal measurement I haven't gotten the vertical measurement so coming to the waistline here is the waistline coming to the waistline my waist measurement is 36 divided by 4 will give me nine inches so i'm going to mark nine inches here and i'm going to be adding one inch for that and one inch for sewing allowance all together two inches at the hip line my hip measurement is 43 divided by 4 will give me 10.75 10.75 which is here one inch allowance because the dart will not get to the hip so i'm going to connect it like this So this is what I have. Then I'm going to measure what I have here, 12 inches. 
I will minus 1.5 inches from this 12 inches here. So 12 inches minus 1.5 will give us 10.5 inches. 10.5 inches. If you want, you can minus 2 inches. Just feel free to do as you want. So I'm going to connect like this. So I'm going to cut it out now. I'm, I'm going to use this to cut the back side now. So guys, we are going to cut the back side now. This is folded into two. I'll just place the front on it like this. Then here I have my zip allowance, two inches. You can add any inches here for your zip allowance. And having done that, the next thing I'll do is to cut. So now we are done. This is a simple basic pencil skirt. The next thing to do now is to add my darts. The front and back is going to have darts. So for us to create our darts, I'm going to measure the distance from one bus to the other. That's the nipple to nipple measurement. So for me, my bus span is 7 divided by 2, 3.5 plus half inch, making it 4. So here I'll measure 4 inches and mark. The length of the dart is going to be 5 inches. 5 inches. So this is my dart line now. So we are going to measure half inch on both sides making it one inch that one inch will add it here and we'll connect and yeah this is my dart now i'm going to give it a notch to get to the back so i've given it a notch to indicate the dart for the back side so the next thing I'll do now is to open the zip I'm going to open the zip allowance so what I have here is two inches on fold for the band after us join we are going to use half inch to join to sew the band and we are going to be left with 1.5 inches which is the wideness of the band so this is what we have as the band and what I have here is my waist measurement that's 36 divided by 2 which will give us 18 plus extra 2 inches for zip allowance so guys I'll go ahead and cut the lining and sew the skirt I've cut the lining for both the front and back. As you can see, the lining is going to be shorter with 3.5 inches because we added 2 inches down here for hemming allowance. So what I have here is 3.5 inches. So the lining is shorter with 3.5 inches. So that by the time we sew this, the skirt will be looking like this. I hope you understand so I'll go over to the machine and I'm going to drag this equal at the down part and I'm going to stitch with half an inch so guys I'm done stitching the down part as you can see it's half an inch and this is the upper part so the next thing I'm going to do now is to drag it up like this and make it equal and I'm going to close up this side and this side before I before I turn to the right side so after that I'm going to put our dart and that will be all for the front side so this is the back side now I did the same thing I've stitched the down part and this is the upper part. I'm going to drag it like this 
and I'm going, I will sew the zip side and close up this side as well. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Then I'll turn to the right side, fix the dart, and then join the zip allowance. So this is the back side, and I left an opening here, an overlap, so that I'll, it will be easy for me to work. So this is like seven inches. It's as simple as that. This is the side neatly sewn. So guys, the next thing to do now is to join the front and back at the side with one inch allowance that we added during the cutting. So guys, we are done with the skirt and this is the back side. So if you want, you can just cut this open can cut this open and it will look like this so you will now iron it through so that this place will lap so this is the overlap so this is it for the basic skirt or pencil skirt i'll set this one aside while we sew the jacket so guys we are going to start with the front side of the jacket after sewing the front side then we'll sew the back side. So I've cut out the fabric. As you can see, this one is two, two pieces and then two pieces of lining. And the same thing here, I'm using this fabric as the lining because it's going to show outside. I'm going to keep the pattern now while we'll join. So as you can see, I've I've attached my fusible interfacing already. What I'm using is paper gum. You can do use any one you have, it's okay. So I attach the interfacing on the front side, this side. I attach it on this side and on this side as well. I didn't attach it here. But if you have enough uh, interfacing, you can attach it. It's okay. So I'll go over to the machine and we are going to pick this one and pick one of these as well and join i'll stitch like this with my sewing allowance if you add half inch for sewing allowance sew with the half inch whatever allowance you added that's what you are going to use to join this don't make mistake of using more than you added because it will affect your jacket so this is how we are going to sew it all through So, whatever I do to this material, I also do to the lining as well. So guys, this is the two front side. After joining it. So, I, after joining it, make sure you give it a notch. You cut the allowance. Give it a notch. And you press it. Use your iron to press it flat. So that it will lap very well. This is the lining as well. And make sure your lining is shorter towards this side, depending on the allowance you have here. Now we are going to we are going to join the back side. So this is the back side of the jacket. The same thing, we have two pieces here two pieces of the fabric and two pieces of the lining so the same thing here so to sew the back side i'm going to pick one i'll pick one from here and pick one from here so i'm going to join it at the dart you know this is the dart line so i'm going to join it like this i will join the lining the same way so guys, this is the back side after joining the darts. So the next thing I'll do now is to join the two sides of the back at the center. So I'll place it in this way. And I'll go over to the machine and I'll sew with half inch allowance. So this is it for this one. Then this is the lining for the back. So guys, for the lining, 
I'll sew from here now to like six inches and I'm going to leave an opening of like five inches I'll leave this opening and then from here I'm going to sew down close it down from here I'll close it down this opening is going to be useful for us later so you will see what I'll use the opening to do just keep on watching so guys after joining the center this is what we have so yeah after joining it I went ahead and ironed it I gave it a cut or a notch and iron it flat and this is the lining so this is the lining and this is the opening we left we are going to use it later so this is it for the back side we are going to join the front and back now together so I'm going to place it the front side on the back side like this and I'm going to join the shoulder with half an inch or whatever allowance you added then at the side I'll sew the side and this one I'll do the same thing here as well so guys we are done joining the shoulder and the side our jacket is almost done so guys we are going to sew the two piece sleeve now we have two pieces here two pieces of the fabric and two pieces of the lining for the under sleeve and the same thing here I have two two pieces of the fabric and the lining as well so we are going to reduce the lining we are going to reduce the lining by 1.5 inches 1.5 inches because I added because I added one inch as hemming allowance so I will, I will reduce it by 1.5 inches I'm going to do the same thing here the next thing I'm going to do now is to notch this side to indicate the front part of the sleeve and the elbow so with this notch we should know that this is the front side and this is the elbow line I'm going to come here again and then I'm going to notch this side this front side I will notch it like this so this will guide us you know to know the front part of the sleeve so after that I will remove this I'm going to remove this so this notch will guide us so I'll do the same thing here it's very important you notch you notch the front side so that you won't go fixing the front side at the back and then the back at the front so it's very very necessary so we are going to start joining it now this is how I, I will place it to sew this one is the under sleeve and this is the upper sleeve so I'll position it like this taking note of the front side you know remember this notch this notch is our guide so I'm going to go over to the machine and we are going to stitch with our sewing allowance whatever sewing allowance you added use it to sew so guys I've sewn this side then after stitching one side this is the space I have so for me now to sew this side we are going to pull it and make it equal and the two the notches should be matching together so I'll pull it up like this and I will sew so let me pin it 
I'll now go over to the machine and stitch this side. So guys, I'm done sewing the two-piece sleeve. And if you get your own correctly, this is how it will be looking like. This is the front sleeve. As you can see, this is the notch. The two notch indicating the front side. So after sewing it, I went ahead and gave it a nice press. And this is it. So this is the back and this is the front. So guys, I'm done fixing the sleeve. And this is what I have. The sleeve is looking so nice already. So guys, at this point, if you want to make use of a shoulder pad, then you are going to fix your shoulder pad at the shoulder here. But for me, I'm not going to make use of any shoulder pad. I'll be fixing this wording at the edge of the shoulder. But it won't go around. It will stop like somewhere here. So I'll be using this. So this is what I have. I'll cut, I'm going to cut like 1.5 inches. I'll cut like 1.5 inches. So I'm going to cut this too. Instead of shoulder pad. But if you want to add shoulder pad, it is okay. Just do as you want. So, at this point, I'm going to fix this. I'll just fix this on the shoulder. At the edge of the shoulder. This will help the, the shoulder to, you know, stand firm. So, I'm going to fix it like this. The side that has gone will be on the material. I'm going to sew like this and stop somewhere here so it will be like this and after sewing the first one after the first stitches I'm going to turn it over again and use it to close up this side and sew guys after stitching the part on the shoulder on the edge of the shoulder this is how it's meant to be not like this so it's going to stand like this towards the sleeve so that by the time you wear it you see the fitting so if you don't want to fix a shoulder part do this method do this one so guys, the next thing to do now is to sew the collar and attach it on the jacket. So guys, to sew the collar, remember this is the side we are going to fix on the neckline. So for that reason, I'm going to stitch like this, like this, like this, and like this. I hope you understand. I'm sewing the collar separately after sewing the collar i will fix it on the main jacket before we use the lining to turn so this is how i prefer it so i'm done stitching to turn to the right side i'm going to cut this side and cut this side so that after turning it it will lap very well then I will give this side a notch. So the next thing to do is to turn to the right side. So I'm going to iron it so that it will relax very well. So after ironing the collar, it has relaxed very well. So this is the collar now. It is going to be like this. We are going to fix it like this. So to fix it, I'll just fold it into two. I'll fold it into two like this to get the center, which will match with the center of the jacket. I'll just give it a notch. 
So I'll match this to the center here of the jacket. I hope you understand. So I'll simply place it like this. So we're going to sew like this towards the front. So I'll go over to the machine and stitch and I'll be back. So guys, after fixing the collar, this is how it looks. And I've given it a notch so that the neckline will lap very well. So this is what I have now. This is the collar. The next step is to use the lining to turn the entire thing. To fix the lining, I'm going to place it like this and the two sleeves will be inside. The two sleeves will be inside as well. I'm going to place the collar like this. I'll turn the collar like this. Remember the neckline of the jacket does not have collar. So this is how we are going to sew it. The center of the back side will match the center of the back side of the fabric. So I'm going to place it like this. I'm going to sew from the center like this. Then I'm going to sew it all round, all round and give it a notch. So I'll go over to the machine and sew it and I'll be back. So guys, this is what we have now. I've sewn the lining all round. So this is what we have. And I've given it a notch all round as well. So that by the time we turn to the right side, everything will lap very well. So all the sleeves are inside, as you can see. So the next thing to do now is to turn to the right side from this opening. By the time we we'll iron it, everything will relax very well. And as you can see, this is the sleeve for the lining. And then this is the sleeve for the fabric. The next thing to do is to join the two sleeves together. Here. To sew the sleeve, please pay attention here. Because if you don't get this side very well, you find it difficult to complete your jacket. Pay attention. So to sew the sleeve, the lining and the fabric, to join it together, this is what we are going to do. We are going to put our hand here on this opening like this. We are going to turn to the wrong side. The wrong side of the sleeve. Only. So the two of them are now at one place. So to join the two of them together, we are going to take note of the upper sleeve and the under sleeve. The upper sleeve and the under sleeve is very, very important. This is the upper sleeve of the fabric and this is the upper sleeve of the lining. I hope you remember that the upper sleeve is wider than the under sleeve. So the next thing you are going to do is to, you are going to align it together, the upper sleeve and the upper sleeve. And then at that point, you are going to open up the sleeve like this. As you see me do, just open it up like this and then open this one up. Remember, this is the upper sleeve. This is the upper sleeve. This is the size seam. You are going to match it right side to right side, right side to right side, like this. Okay, so this is the right side, this is the right side, this is the right side, just place it like this. Okay, place it like this. So let me pin it so that it will be more clear.
So after pinning it, it will look like this. And then the seam allowance will be outside. The seam allowance will be outside like this. I hope you understand. This is how you fix the sleeve. The under sleeve is here. So you see the under sleeve, this side and this side. If you mix it up, you will not get uh, a good result. As you can see, the sleeve is just a kind of, you know, kissing each other like this. So this is how you place it. And we are going to go over to the machine and stitch all round. I'll do the same thing on this sleeve as well. I hope you understand this part. If you don't understand, just watch it again. And if you watch it the second time, I believe it will be more clear. So guys, I'm done joining the two sleeves together. So the next thing we are going to do now is to turn to the right side. So to do that, I'll simply turn the jacket like this. This is the right side of the jacket. I will now place my hand inside the sleeve opening like this. And then I'll bring, I'll bring out the sleeve, both the lining and everything. So this is how we are going to turn it. So have you seen it? Very neat. So the lining is inside. So I'm going to iron the shoulder, making sure that the pad is towards facing towards the sleeve. So this is how the shoulder is looking now. So this is the the benefit of at least putting a wording if you don't want to make use of any shoulder pad. So this is how the shoulder will come out. It will stand very well as you can see. Please don't skip this process if you don't want to put a shoulder pad. So we are going to do the same thing on this other side. I place this inside and iron you know the side that has gone is outside so it will stick together by the time you iron it so guys the next thing to do is to close up this side with an invisible hand stitching and that will be the end of this tutorial so this is it um i've equally fixed my button one button here and i did my local button hole here this is it for the sewing of the jacket if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share so that others can see the video as well so thank you so much for watching till next time i'll see you again for now it is bye bye